I'm a third generation commercial fisherman. I started off shrimping and from shrimping went into fin fish because I kind of like fin fish a lot. We mostly fished the basin here, but when the basin wasn't producing, we, you know, we went other places. We fished until the net bands came through. When the net bands came through, we went back to fin fishing with hooks. Uh, it's a slower process, but we still can produce fish. It's like long lines. They are uh, 1,200 foot lines, and we use 200 hooks on a 1,200 foot line. Uh, and we put a few lines out, you know, four or five lines. Uh, you bait them up with crab, and we fish mostly black drum. Uh, black drum seems to be the, the best fish to catch on hooks around here. Um, you know, sometime in the winter time we fish white trout, but uh, we still trawl for sheephead, uh, which is uh, a pretty palatable fish for our restaurant trade around here. Uh, some years we have a lot of them, some years we don't have a lot. And catch what you can and then move on from one season to the next. It basically, it, it's driven by the, the time of the year. And I think that's one of the things that kept me in the fishing because every day is a new experience. I mean, you don't, when you throw a trawl over, you never know what you're gonna come up with, you know? As winter comes closer and the north, northwesters come, a lot of stuff migrates out. But you do have some fish that stay in and migrate in. Until you get real cold weather, speckled trout migrate back into the lake and you'll have like three or four spawns of speckled trout late in the year. And uh, it, it really produces some good fishing for recreational people along the trussels and along the causeway. And uh, as we move through the year, a bunch of us go to fishing hoop nets for freshwater catfish throughout the basin here. And we'll fish anywhere from the, the far western end of Lake Pontchartrain all the way to the Pearl River, you know, fishing catfish. And we do that basically all the way until the spring run starts again with shrimp and crabs and start the whole cycle back over again. The water, since they shut the channel down uh, after Katrina, is getting more like I remember it being back in the 60s, where you had that, that, that real good mixture of sweet water out there. And you, you fish the, the areas towards the little rivers where the tributaries are draining out you catch more freshwater fish. You fish the center, the heart of it, closer to the passes or closer to Industrial Canal, you catch more saltwater stuff. You know, you can catch just about a, a, a complete smorgasbord of any kind of fish you want, whether you be fishing recreational or commercial. I mean, you can go catch, a, like I said, an eel cat, a blue cat, and then the next step you can catch a redfish or a speckled trout, you know? I mean, it's, it's all there, you know? So it, it's, it's a big enough system that it's like its own little ocean, and it has enough variety in it that you can just about fish year-round in a lake.